Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is found in South Africa. The colors of the flag goes as follows. Green represents the agriculture and rural areas of Zimbabwe. Yellow stands for the wealth of minerals in the country. Red stands for the bloodshed during the First and Second Wars. Black stands for the heritage and ethnicity of the native Africans of Zimbabwe. The white triangle stands for peace. The Zimbabwe bird is the national symbol of Zimbabwe. And the red star stands for the nation's hopes and aspirations for the future. Stay tuned for this look of Zimbabwe. Let me zoom in. So stay tuned if you want to see how to get this look. And I hope you like. So first, um, what we're going to do is take some Vaseline and apply it to your eyelid. This is going to be my base for this look. Apply it to the whole lid. <clears throat> Trying something new here. Okay, so our first color is going to be um, yellow by NYX. And you're going to apply that to the inner corner. You see, I have a different camera. It's not a new camera. It's um, an old camera that I had. And I was like, let me try this. See how it goes. So, let's see. You just want to put it right there in the middle. Now you take your red from, I'm taking my red from my palette, we all have it, <laughs> and you just put it right beside the yellow. Don't get it, try to stop like right, leave that corner for the green. If you get it, it's fine. You want to blend. I, I hate these harsh lines. Unless you're going for that look, then you do that. But you can, since you have um, the red brush, you bring the red over to the yellow rather than the yellow to the red. So, let's see. Just little strokes, fast strokes, it blends it over. Okay, now with the green, I'm taking a dark green. And you just want to put it on the outer. Just dab it. Because I feel with the um, the Vaseline base, you really get the color. So pat it, and then bring it up. And then draw like a line across. This is your guide. Right there. And then just pack on that green. Line. Bring it down a little. Now you can take your blending brush and blend it up. So you don't have those harsh lines. I always use a flat brush. Can you see this? And take my foundation. And then you just um, line it to where, what you want, basically. This hides all like imperfections and mistakes. So, now, you go do your top, it's optional. This also gives a clean look. To your eyebrows. 
See, now you ain't gonna go out like that, are you? <laughs> and I blend it. I blend it down. Across and down. Short strokes to blend it down. Therefore, you're not, um... Going into the eyebrow, like going back and forth, because your hair might, you know, get into that brow. And you can stretch your eye, like your normal eyes, like this, stretch it. Gives you more space. You don't have to worry about blending it so much if you're going to put a highlight over this. The top, I usually go across but slowly like a swishing movement or you could blend it out if you want to I'm gonna be using white because that's also in the flag usually I don't do white but I'm not gonna pack it on so it's like really white it's gonna be like a dull white Like so. And kind of, you could bring it down or you could bring the green up and blend it. Not, don't add no more, you just blending it. I'll show you. Take your blending. Now with your eyebrows, um, I put, um, I lined them already. And as you can see, they're too dark. Now you want to just blend that color in with your hairs. And you could, um, if you go out of your line, it's okay because we didn't go to the, um, the highlight part and stuff. So see, it's not like totally even. So you want to take, I always use a flat brush can you see this and take my foundation and then you just um line it to what what you want basically this hides all like imperfections and mistakes so, now you go do your top it's optional this also gives a clean look to your eyebrows see now you ain't gonna go out like that are you <laughs> and I'll blend it I blend it down, across and down. Short strokes to blend it down. Therefore, you're not um, going into the eyebrow, like going back and forth, because your hand might, you know, get into that brow. And you can stretch your eye, like your normal eyes like this, stretch it. Gives you more space. You don't have to worry about blending it so much if you're going to put a highlight over this. The top, I usually go across, but slowly. Like a swishing movement. Or you could blend it out if you want to. Let's 
Hilfe. So, there goes your brow. You can blend it up to your skin. And now your highlights, I'm going to be using white because that's also in the flag. Usually I don't do white, but I'm not going to pack it on so it's like really white. It's going to be like a dull white. You see it's like a little line you could blend that onto into the highlight now it's eyeliner time take your small brush spray it get your black and eyeline it And do your top lid. Now for your eyelashes. My way of doing it is taking a thin brush. Putting glue on it. And applying it as if it's eyeliner. Get as close to the lash line. And I go upwards because my eyelashes curl up so that helps me from getting it on my lashes instead of like going straight across like this let it get tacky Get your lash apply it close to the line. Okay, this one doesn't want to grip. Okay, now just situate it the way you want it. And you could push it down if it's not close. And there you have it. Let me zoom in. See? This is the Zimbabwe look. Thanks for watching. You can find more pics and more information on Zimbabwe at my blog at itchagirlcory.com. It's your girl Cory. Thanks for watching.